Hello Missouri 8-Man Football, Devin Albertson here and it's time for our second annual edition of our Elite 8 Players in 8 Positions, this one a 2024 version. Again, if you make the offensive list, you cannot make the defensive list, so there's no duplicates on here. we got 64 names to get through, so let's get started. Up first, the quarterbacks. <laughs> Our number eight ranked quarterback is Tristan Leeper out of Archie. He was a second team all purpose back in the Wemo last year. Only threw for 150 yards and five touchdowns and a limited role behind Briar McIntyre. He also ran for almost 700 yards and 17 touchdowns. Received for another 160 yards and seven scores. So just over 1,000 yards all purpose last year and 32 touchdowns. Should be a big part of their offense this year. They try to repeat in 2024. Number seven, Cooper Tabor at a Bishop of Blonde. Last year threw for 1,940 yards, 25 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. She took a big step forward this year. Expect big things out of Tabor in 2024. Number six, Chase Klein out of Albany. Last year threw for 1,200 yards, 21 touchdowns, and three picks. Also ran in six more scores on top of that. Should be a very dynamic player this year again for Albany. And they got plenty of weapons around him too. So Albany and Chase Klein expect big things this season. Number five, Mason Jackson and Drexel. First team all-purpose player. Back last year in the Wemo, threw for just under 1,700 yards and 27 touchdowns, only five interceptions. Also ran for 837 yards and 17 touchdowns. So 2,500 yards and 44 touchdowns total last year. Missed the last few games of the year due to injury. Should be up for a big year this year for the Bobcats and Coach Dean down in Drexel. Number four, Jay Daniel out of North Shelby. First team, all-purpose back in the Central River North Division. Last year threw for 1,100 yards, 16 touchdowns, only two interceptions. Also rushed for just under 1,600 yards and 28 touchdowns for a total of 2,700 yards and 44 touchdowns season. Very underrated guy in the state. Uh, after all the quarterbacks last year between New and... Howard and all those guys, he was really good, just kind of overlooked a lot of points. Uh, he should be back for a really good year this year for the Raiders in Shelbyville. Now to our top three. Uh, these three guys, you could do the order in any way you want to. I wouldn't argue too much. The way we have to put them for this one, number three, Cole Metzger out of South Holt. First team Highway 275 Conference quarterback. First team All-Purpose back for the Missouri 8manfootball.com All-State team. He was also second team All-Purpose back for the Coaches All-State team. Threw for 2,000 yards, 36 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Ran for an additional 1,800 yards and 41 touchdowns. So last year, Kalina's returns had 3,800 yards of offense and 81 touchdowns. He was fantastic last year for the Knights. Led them to a state semifinal back this year in Raider Roll. And number two, Braxton Linville out of North Andrew. Last year only played a little over four games. Ran for 800 yards. Just under 1,000 yards of all purpose and 13 touchdowns. But didn't tell his whole story for his career. This will be his fourth year starting quarterback. He got 2,200 yards and 40 touchdowns passing. 3,800 yards rushing and 56 rushing touchdowns for a total of 6,000 yards of total offense and 96 touchdowns in his career. Has a state championship as a sophomore. Very good player. Back this year with a vengeance. He should be excellent this year in 2024. And our number one quarterback is Jordan Haley out of Bramer. First team, all Central River North Division last year. Second team for our all-state team here at MissouriManFootball.com. Was third team for the coaches all-state. Threw for 4,500 yards, 94 touchdowns, and five interceptions. Ran for an additional 1,400 yards and 29 touchdowns. For a total of 5,900 yards and 123 touchdowns last year, his career stats so far, 10,806 passing yards for 178 touchdowns, ran for additional 3,300 yards and 63 touchdowns, so all in total, 1,661 touches between pass attempts and rushes for 14,174 yards and 238 touchdowns. Jordan Haley comes into the season as our number one rated quarterback in Missouri 8-man football. Now on to running backs. Number eight, Kellen Fien from Concordia. Second team all-purpose in the Central River I-70 division. A little over 1,100 total yards last year and 20 touchdowns. Should be a big piece of the Orioles' offense in 2024. Number seven, Peyton Hawson from St. Joe Christian. Second team running back in the GRC last year and third team running back for the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State team. Ran for 1,169 yards and 19 touchdowns last year. Should be very good again this year. Strong running back. Number six, Dante Bingham out of Plattsburgh. 859 yards rushing last year and 18 touchdowns. He was also a third-team All-State defensive end, according to the coaches' team. 
will be the bell cow of the Tigers' offense with the graduation of Isaiah Howard. Number five, Elliott Merger from Albany. 831 yards, 14 touchdowns last year. A little over 6.5 yards per carry. Should have another big year for them. Uh, I think he's going for 1,000 yards this year. He should be really good along with Klein there in that backfield for the Warriors. Number four, Landon Wilmus out of Worth County. First team running back in the GRC and first team All-State running back on the coaches' All-State team. Ran for 1,203 yards and 21 touchdowns. Also had two receiving touchdowns and 218 yards in the air for a team that was a state runner-up last year. On to number three, Elliott Sevitz out of Schuyler County. First team running back in the Central River North Division. Also a second team All-State back in both the Missouri 8manfootball.com and the Missouri Coaches Association All-State teams. Ran for 1,708 yards and 32 touchdowns. His total all-purpose was over 2,000 yards and 37 touchdowns. He'll be the bell cow for the Rams in 2024. Number two, Nick Teeman out of Lockwood. He was a third-team running back in the All-State from Missouri 8manfootball.com and a first-team running back in the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State team. Ran for 1,621 yards and 32 touchdowns. Also had 21 receptions for 321 yards and six scores and six and four return touchdowns last year. He should be the main guy for the Lockwood offense in 2024. And number one, Cash Anderson, the junior out of Appleton City, first team running back in the Wemo, first team in both the Missouri 8manfootball.com and the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State teams, ran for 1,772 yards and 33 touchdowns, also had eight receptions for 142 yards and four scores. He'll be the go-to guy for the Bulldogs again this year, where we expect big things at Appleton City. Cash Anderson, the number one running back in 2024 Missouri 8-man football. Now we go on to receivers at number eight, Logan Hubble at St. Joe Christian. He was a second team receiver in the Grand River Conference. 24 receptions, 403 yards, and four touchdowns. She took a big step forward this year. Christian should be a very good team this year in the GRC. Number seven, Corbin Jacob out of Rockport. Second team receiver in the Highway 275 Conference. 31 receptions. For 656 yards and 14 touchdowns, he also chipped in 427 yards rushing and six scores. All-purpose last year, over 1,300 yards and 22 touchdowns. So he got a big role this year for the Blue Jays. Number six, Ryder Sample out of King City. Second team, all-GRC receiver last year. 46 catches for 548 yards and four touchdowns. Also, 388 yards and eight touchdowns on the ground and four return touchdowns. He's a kid who definitely skyrocketed up this list. Very talented, talented player there for King City and Coach Breckenridge there in King City. Number five, Ryland Langston out of Plattsburgh. 44 receptions, 887 yards last year and 15 touchdowns. He is an absolute monster with the ball in his hands. Plattsburgh seems to get ball to him. And number four, Kyle Emerson from Albany, first team receiver in the GRC last year. He's also the Class 1 state champion in the 100 and 200 meter dash. Last year, 478 yards receiving, nine touchdowns, also two touchdowns rushing, and six return touchdowns. One of the more dynamic players in the state of Missouri with the ball in his hands, and you're not going to catch him if you're behind him. Up next, number three is Landon Preston out of Pattonsburg. First team All-GRC last year, also third team receiver in the Missouri 8manfootball.com All-State team and second team receiver for the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State team. 115 receptions for 1,537 yards and 18 touchdowns. Their quarterback's not a no, but Preston is a guarantee there for Pattonsburg. Number two receiver, Gavin Boyle out of Plattsburgh. He was second team receiver for the Missouri Football Coach Association All-State last year. 49 catches for 908 yards and 17 touchdowns. Absolutely explosive with the ball in his hand. Plattsburgh has some weapons. Can their quarterback get them the ball is the question. But Boyle, Langston, and Bingham are all studs there for Plattsburgh in their skill positions. And finally, number one, Kagan Sincinich out of Bramer, first team tight end from the Central River to North Division last year, second team for the tight end from Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State, 62 catches for 1,027 yards and 25 touchdowns. He's looked great this summer. Looks like a number one receiver there for Bramer. Very dangerous weapon there for, for Jordan Haley to throw to. Kagan Sincinich is our number one receiver slash tight end going into the 2024 football season. Now it's time for the big uglies up front 
Starting up number eight, Tucker Greer out of Oric. First team O-line in the Central River I-70 division last year. Third team O-line for the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State. Very good player there for the Bearcats. One of the better linemen in that conference. Number seven, Ethan Lillinger out of Worth County. Honorable mention O-line in the GRC last year. He played center last year for him. Was flanked by two really good seniors. He'll be the anchor of that line this year. Stud there for Worth County. Only going to be a sophomore. Number six, Finn Sullivan out of Bishop LeBlanc. Another center. He's been the anchor of the LeBlanc line. Should be much improved this year. Number five, Miles Neely out of Lockwood. Second team O-line for the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State last year. He took a big step forward this year. Going to be a junior. Number four, Tatum Johnson out of East Atchison. He was a third team defensive lineman for both Missouri 8-Man Football Coaches Association All-State and the Missouri 8-Man Football.com All-State teams. He's moving a linebacker on the defensive side, but offensively, he is still a stud up front as an offensive lineman. Number three, Tristan Haas out of Concordia. First team O-line, second team D-line there in the Central River I-70 division. He was a second team O-lineman for Missouri 8-Man Football.com All-State team and a first team O-lineman for the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State team. Number two, Trace Millen out of South Holt. First team O-line, D-line, the Highway 275 Conference. He was a second team O-line defense alignment for both Missouri 8manfootball.com and the Coaches Association All-State teams. And number one, Landon Swatters out of Appleton City. First team O-line the Wemo last year. Third team O-line for the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State team. He is a monster of a man. He's going to move people. He's a really good player there for Appleton City and a great person for Cash Anderson to run behind. Landon Swatters is our number one O-lineman going into 2024. That's it for the offense. Top 32 players down on that side of the ball. Now we go to the defensive side of the football. Our top 32 players, elite eight in eight positions. We have defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers, and defensive backs. And they're coming up right now. Now for the defensive tackles, Hunter Harding from Appleton City comes in at number eight. First team D lineman in the Wemo last year. Third team All State, according to the Coach Association. 92 tackles, 15 tackles for loss, and three sacks last year. At number seven, Carter Shue out of Bramer. First team D line in the Central River North. Also third team D line in the Missouri Football Coach Association All State. 67 tackles, four for loss, 13 sacks for Shue last year. Also a really good receiver there for the. For the Bobcats. Number six, Seth Miller out of Albany. Second team defensive line for the Grand River. 40 tackles, five tackles for loss and a sack. He's a tough kid to move up front there in the middle of that Albany defense. Number five, just being a tough to move, Ryder Heron out of Rockport. Actually played six last year in state wrestling. The 285-pound division or under in the state of Missouri. 45 tackles, four for loss. Also had five sacks last year for the Blue Jays. Number four, Ace Akers out of Schuyler County. Really good offensive lineman as well. First team O-line, D-lineman out of the Central River North. Was a third team for the Missouri 8manfootball.com All-State O-line team. And second team for the Coaches Association All-State team on the O-line as well. On defense, 52 tackles, four for loss, and a half a sack. He is a monster to move up front. Great on both sides of the ball. Number three, Garrett Carpenter out of Nawe Valley. Second team D-line, the Highway 275. 57 tackles, 19 were for loss, and six and a half sacks. He's a disrupting force in the middle of that Thunder defense. And number two, Landon Wiederholt out of Platte Valley. First team O-line, second team D-line out of the Highway 275 conference last year. Was a third team O-lineman for the Missouri 8-man football.com All-State team and second team for the O-line for the Coaches Association on defense. 48 tackles, four tackles for loss, two sacks. There for Wiederholt, he's a stud on both sides of the ball there for Platte Valley. And number one, Braden Daniels out of Archie. He was first team O-line and D-line for the Wemo. First team O-line, second team D-line for the Missouri 8manfootball.com All-State. And first team O-line for the Coaches Association All-State. 71 tackles, 15 of those for loss, 9 sacks, an interception as well. Braden Daniels, the number one defensive tackle for Missouri 8-man football going into 2024. Now on to defensive ends, number eight, Devin Bloom at Osceola. First team D-line slash linebacker in the Wemo last year. 109 tackles, 15 for loss, four sacks, and three interceptions. A good player there for Osceola. Will be a big impact player this year for the Indians. Number seven, Oren Van Skyke out of North Shelby. He was a first team defensive end for the Central River North Division last year. Also a second team tight end there in the North as well. 27 tackles, seven of those for loss, and three and a half sacks last year. Another good athlete on the edge there for North Shelby. 
Number six, Landon Lancar from Concordia. First team D lineman in the Central River I-70 division. Also a third team defensive lineman in the Missouri 8manfootball.com All-State team. 88 tackles, 19 of those were for loss, 10 sacks as well last year. He'll be a big force in part of that Orioles defense looking to make a big impact in 2024. Number five, Cameron Kephart out of East Ashton did not play last year at Bedford, Iowa. Transferred into Tarkio this past spring. Should be a really good player, great looking athlete there for the Wolves in 2024. Now get to the top four. Pretty interchangeable here between these four guys. We're going to number four, Bo Collins out of Worth County. Last year, the freshman was a first team at defense alignment in the GRC and second team in the Coaches Association All State team at defensive end. 78 tackles and six sacks as a freshman. With a big impact again as a sophomore this fall. Number three, Justin Miller out of Platte Valley. Missed most of last year due to injuries. Still had three tackles for loss and a sack. Uh, two years ago, as a sophomore, had 80 tackles, 10 and a half tackles for loss, and three and a half sacks. He's a great athlete there at DN for Platte Valley. They're looking to have him back this year. Number two, Jacob Winklebauer out of Bishop Blonde. First team defensive end, Missouri Football Coaches Association All State team. Had 52 tackles, one of those for loss, plus three and a half sacks, an interception, and four first fumbles. He is a man amongst boys there at defensive end. And number one, Shane Hyder out of Archie. Second team D-line out of the Wemo last year. Also second team D-end for the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State team. 88 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, and nine sacks last year. A force of nature at the defensive end spot. They'll miss Brock Smith, but Shane Hyder is another monster there for Archie this season. Shane Hyder, the number one defensive end going into 2024. Now we move on to linebacker at number eight, Maddox Inman from Concordia. Second team linebacker in the Central River I-70 division. 83 tackles and seven of those for loss last year and two sacks. Inman kind of the heart and soul of the middle of that Concordia defense. Number seven, Gage Smith out of Norburn Harden Central. Honorable mention D-line slash linebacker in Central River I-70 last year. Uh, missed some time due to injury. Still had 22 tackles and nine of those for loss and four sacks last year. Looked really good over the summer. Big things out of Gage Smith this fall for the Aggies. Number six, Lucas Frisch out of Worth County. First team linebacker in the GRC. Second team for the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State. 142 tackles and four sacks last year. An absolute stud there for Worth County. Number five, Preston Jenkins at Anali Valley. He was a first team D lineman slash linebacker as well as running back in the Highway 275. He had 94 tackles, seven of those for loss, and two interceptions last year for the Thunder. Number four, Trey Ike for Bishop Blonde. Third team linebacker in the Coaches Association All State team. Had 55 tackles and three and a half sacks last year, along with two interceptions. A tremendous athlete there in the middle of that LeBlanc defense. At number three, Isaiah Cullers out of Schuyler County. First team linebacker in the Central River North Division. Also a third team linebacker in both the Missouri 8manfootball.com and the Missouri Football Coaches Association All States. Had 132 tackles. 15 of those were for loss. Four sacks and three forced fumbles last year. A monster in the middle of that Rams defense. Number two, Avery Miller for North Andrew. A hybrid player. Was a first teamer in D-line and linebacker hybrid role in all of the GRC, the Missouri 8manfootball.com, and the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State teams. Had 62 tackles, 20 of them for loss, 9.5 sacks, and interception last year for North Andrew. He'll be the man on defense again for the Cardinals in 2024. And number one, T.J. Munter out of Drexel. He was a first-team O-lineman and a linebacker for the Wemo last year. First-team also linebacker in both the Missouri 8manfootball.com and the Missouri Football Coaches Association All-State teams. He had 126 tackles, 39 tackles for loss, five sacks, a pick there for the Drexel defense. Coach Gene loves to have him back this year. T.J. Munter, uh, the best linebacker in Missouri 8-man football going into 2024. Now for defensive back, going to bend the rule here a little bit at defensive back number eight. Clay Crooker and Caden O'Brien, both from Northwest Houston, are going to split this one. Um, they were both second team all Central River last year. Both really good players, had pretty similar stats. Couldn't take one without the other, so I put them both on here tying for the eighth spot 
there for that Hughesville defense. Number seven, Cy Carlson out of St. Joe Christian. Second team running back and defensive back at the Grand River Conference last year. Um, 67 tackles, three of those for loss and two interceptions last year. Also ran a uh, total offense last year, over 1,300 yards and 24 touchdowns on offense for the Lions. Just a really good player. Had to put him on this lead eight list. Number six, Colby McQueen out of Stanbury. First team at DB for the GRC and third team DB for the Football Coaches Association All-State team. 31 tackles and a tackle for loss last year. Number five, Griffin Kimmerling out of South Holt. Second team DB in the Highway 275. Had 77 tackles, six of those for loss, two sacks and three interceptions. Should get a much bigger role this year for the Knights. Number four, Drayton Hampton from the Sweet Springs. We're actually a second-team quarterback in the Central River I semi last year, but I saw him alive in person. He impressed me. 38 tackles and two picks last year as a freshman. Should be much better this year as a sophomore. Number three, Gannon Bowen, another kid who was a freshman last year. He was the second-team punter and kick returner in the Central River North Division, also the freshman of the year in the Missouri 8manfootball.com um, All-State team. Had 102 tackles, three of those for loss, five interceptions, and two forced fumbles. Also had six return touchdowns last year. Bowen should get a big step forward this year for North Shelby. Number two, Lane Haas at a Concordia. First team DB in the Central River I-70. 57 tackles, five of those for loss, two sacks, and five interceptions last year. And number one, Owen DeRozier out of East Atchison. 61 tackles, two of those for loss, and seven interceptions last year for the Wolves. Uh, missed some time due to injury and still almost led the lead in interceptions last year. He's back this year. Looks pretty good. If he can stay healthy, he's definitely the best defensive back in the state this year. So that's your elite eight defensive back Owen DeRozier at number one going into the 2024 football season. That's a wrap, folks. Thank you for listening here. Again, this is our elite eight players and eight positions here for the 2024 football season. Uh, football coming just around the corner. We can't wait to begin. And we have a lot of great players even on this list across the state. Should be a really fun football season. For Devin Albertson signing off, Missouri 8-Man Football.